Edinburgh's extinct volcano, Arthur's Seat, is named after the mythical King Arthur, who ruled the ancient kingdoms of Britain. The legend was that one day he would return to unite Britain. In June 1566, in this tiny room in Edinburgh Castle, a boy was born who was hailed as Little Arthur. He was born into a bewildering world of emotional turbulence and political mayhem. Before this baby's first birthday, his father would be murdered, blown up by gunpowder. He would be forcibly separated from his mother, Mary, Queen of Scots, whom he'd never see again. And yet this was the boy who would rise to become the first king of all Britain. His name is James, and if his early years were traumatic, they're only a taste of what was to come for his remarkable family. In the coming century, seven members of this dynasty will rule the three separate kingdoms of Scotland, England, and Ireland. Through bloodshed and civil war, they will refashion them into the Great Britain that we know today. It was a century of struggle marked by religious divisions, revolution, and conflicting visions of what Great Britain would be. A struggle that has echoes today. They are the first family of Great Britain. They are the Stuarts.